up sauce gang and welcome back to the channel hot sauce beats here with a banger reaction for you because one of our favorite animators on youtube james from the odd ones out the odd ones out is back with a brand new video called my thoughts on tattoos and chat i'm hyped for this because my thoughts on tattoos is that they are absolutely amazing i'm stoked to see what james i'm, I'm guessing james is thinking no i don't think james has tattoos i could be wrong Maybe James has a face tattoo that he just covers up with makeup every day. I don't know, but I'm beyond hyped to jump into this. But before we do, please show the odd ones out some love by subscribing to the channel and chat. We're trying to get to a quarter million subs. So if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button and join the Sauce Gang family. But enough talking, let's get to reacting and roll that bomb ass intro. Hot Sauce Beats is finally here. Hot Sauce Beats is finally here. Eat, sleep, make beats. Eat, sleep, make beats. Hot Sauce Beats. Woo -hoo! Oh, it's time for Here's a ones social out. interaction life hack I've discovered. If you're meeting someone new and you want to get to know them better, and you see any semblance of a tattoo peeking out of their sleeve, compliment it. If that person doesn't want to talk about their tattoos, they'll say, Oh, thank you. Anyway, this is my stop. But if awkward. they do <laughs> want to talk about their tattoos, their face will light up and then they'll do the rest of the talking. I no realize that by giving you this advice, now anytime I compliment someone else's tattoos, it will seem disingenuous, but it's not most of the time. I love all of your tattoos. That's right, I'm talking to you. Me? I love your tattoos, dude. Whether it's how Thank you, you got the tattoo, the meaning behind the tattoo, or being a tattoo of something you like, every tattoo is a story. And most a people love telling stories about themselves. I wouldn't know anything about that person. <laughs> no, 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 no. I never no, understood no, no, no. why some Sub people liked talking about their tattoos Subway. until I got one of my own. What, you think I'm going to make a whole video about tattoos when I didn't even have any? You did get That's one? That's right. I'm a marked man, mom. What are you going to do about it? Stop unconditionally loving me? <laughs> yeah, right. Wait, what are you doing with that cheese grater? Okay, but in all seriousness, <laughs> can you make sure grandma doesn't see this video, mom? I, I don't want to upset her on the way out. Back in the day, tattoos oh, used to be way. a symbol of rebellion <laughs> oh, and meant you so couldn't normal. get a job. No regrets, baby. But I feel like tattoos are getting more and more accepted, if not Agreed. expected. I'll see a jacked, bald guy covered in tattoos and think, okay, yeah, he was meant to look like that. Women For me, want me, the fish idea fear of me. being a bad <laughs> tattooed guy with a sketch pad and a beanie and ripped jeans and a beaded bracelet always seemed cool to me but like most people when it came to tattoos i had reservations Ooh, this is gonna be on my body forever or what if i hate it i had an idea once forever. of getting these five magic the gathering symbols tattooed on my forearm i even dotted them out in sharpie once just to give them a test drive but i ultimately decided not to get them because i was worried in five years i would go Oh, these? You hate magic. Uh, I was really into Magic the Gathering in my 20s. Not anymore, though. So now every morning I wake up with impending feelings of shame and remorse that I even decided to get this thing. And I didn't want that to happen, even though I've been playing Magic for over 15 years, and it means a lot to me, and I'm going to be buried with my sliver deck, and... All right, maybe I should just get it. Even though Do people it. know it, that tattoos are permanent, there are still way more bad tattoos than there should be. One time, Amen I saw this picture of someone's tattoo on a bad tattoo subreddit, and I thought it'd be funny to prank my family coffee. group chat by photoshopping that tattoo onto my arm. And then I thought it'd be funny to post that picture onto Instagram. I didn't think anyone would fall for this. What does that say? You may call it coffee. To me, it's just anti-murdery juicy juice. <laughs> poor excuse of a Photoshop job, but then the internet and my family proved me wrong. Immediately, I started getting phone calls from my parents, and even my book agent rang me up and was like, Did you actually get that tattoo? No, it's not a real tattoo. I mean, it is a real tattoo, but it's on someone else's body. That's their cross to bear. I can only imagine what that person's family and book agent went through. My parents were it's not supportive juicy of juice. me getting tattoos. But whose are, am I right? Some people, like my parents, say that your body is like a temple. And getting tattoos is like it's putting like graffiti on it. Which, sure, okay, that's why I paid a professional graffiti artist to paint my temple exactly how I wanted. Also, you can't tell me not to deform my body when that's exactly what you did before I was even 24 hours old. 
Also, Jesus had piercings, and he loved showing them off to his buddies. So that's I think a clever he'd be one, James. With a tattoo. After much Talking thought and deliberation, <laughs> I finally settled on what my first tattoo would be. Himself, this was himself. going to be permanently inked onto my body for the rest of my life. I got a tattoo, tattoo. Stop. Courier new. Luckily, the artist was able to finish this in one session. It took quite a while, almost five whole minutes. Now, let me explain why I got it. It was so that if anyone That's ever hilarious. asked me, do you have any tattoos? I could go, why, yes, I do. And then roll up my sleeve, and then I'd go, ha, tattoo. ha, ha. When I showed off my tattoo tattoo on Jaden's streamathon, there was one comment that said, James having tattoo actually tattooed onto him is exactly the kind of tattoo I expected James to have. And that made me feel nice. really good because that meant the tattoo fit my vibe. And the second reason I got the tattoo was because I wanted to rebel. <laughs> Since tattoos were frowned upon growing up, I wanted to They're have evil. one just to have one. So I got a tattoo with no meaning whatsoever, which in a way is the meaning. Even though the tattoo tattoo was small and usually covered up by my sleeve, I still felt anxious about getting it. And I continued to feel that way for about a week after I got it. It was a jump scare Fire's every remorse. time I saw it in the mirror. And I would look at it closely and go, yep, that's really in there. I sure hope I don't Forever. regret this. But then after some time, the tattoo tattoo just became a part of me. Like I didn't look Literally. in the mirror and go, yep, there's James and tattoo. I would go, yep, there's James, full stop. And from that day on, I loved giving people advice on tattoos. As a marked man myself, I think you should absolutely get that Shadow the Hedgehog full back piece. YOLO, remember? What? You're worried that it's going to look bad when you're 70? Yeah, it's going to Your look pants. bad when you're 70. <laughs> you're 70. Don't think about how bad it's going to look. Think about how much you're going to enjoy it from now Until to when then. you're 69. I've known people my age who still hide their tattoos from their parents, but like the honest prodigal son that I am, I wasn't going to be doing that. But the next time I visited my parents, I Let's walked see, into James. their house, and the very first thing my mom said to me was, Do you have any tattoos? She beat me to the punch. Uh, what? Why, why, why would you ask that? Because last night, I had a dream that you came home and were covered in tattoos. Wow. So, Mother which always knows one of best, you chat. incepted my mom? God? I said, are all tattoos God? bad? Yes, all of them are bad. Even this one. And I rolled up my sleeve and revealed my massive tat. And her reaction was, ah. Oh. Well, it's not the worst word to have permanently inked on your body. Later Threat. on, she said, if you go to a Star Wars party, you could change it to Tatooine. So... I think she took it pretty goodly. <laughs> now, some of you might be thinking so that my cheesy. epic sleeve of a tattoo isn't that big a deal. It's tiny and can only be seen if I'm swimming or boxing or wearing a tank top. But you see, after getting tattoo tattooed, I experienced what people in the tattooing business call catching the bug. After seeing how much I liked my first tattoo and knowing that I could handle having a tattoo, I was ready to get something badass. I set up oh, a you get, boy tattoo appointment with an artist I liked, and when I was in the tattoo shop, the artist asked, is this your first tattoo? <laughs> is this my first tattoo? Uh, no, <laughs> sweetheart. I, I think I know a thing or two about tattoos. So, without further ado, I would like to debut this out of the blue Tattoo. Mm, you no. know, from the Dark Crystal, the Jim Henson 80s puppet movie that, that I did a video on it years ago. Now I have the best character permanently inked onto my skin forever and ever. No, that, he doesn't. Is that real? That movie will always hold a special place in my heart, and now it'll hold a special place under my skin. And now, whenever I show someone the Chamberlain, we end up talking about the Dark Crystal, which is great because that's what I wanted to talk about anyways. I think I just discovered an autistic conversational cheat code. 
When I was getting it done, the artist asked me if there were any other tattoos that I wanted to get, and I said, why, yes I do. I wanted to get the computer from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, because I also love that series, and because I'm a computery guy. And I didn't realize until as I was explaining it to the artist that both of these characters are puppets. So I don't know what that says about my psyche. I never thought that I liked puppets that like much. Puppets. But if anyone wants to psychoanalyze me in the comments, that'd be great. And speaking of YouTube <laughs> comments, I know a lot of people are going to bring this up. So I'm just going to address it right now. <sighs> You probably noticed that Chamberlain isn't holding his iconic triangle scepter. Yeah, I already know that. That's because he's holding the Emperor's scepter. It's like my own little head cannon. He got to be the Emperor because he's cool and awesome. And come on, Dark Crystal fans, you, you think I don't know my lore? I didn't get the lore? wrong scepter or anything. Just some you, lore. you think I did something wrong about the Dark Crystal? Okay, you wanna know what happened? I own a Chamberlain statue because of course I do, and I took pictures of it to send as a reference image to the artist, and I totally forgot that I accidentally broke off his triangle scepter, and now because of that, he's holding an entirely different scepter on the tattoo. But you know what? I don't care. This one's better. <laughs> it's a more clear silhouette. Now, this time when I went to show my parents the tattoo, I don't know exactly what I was hoping for, but I wanted to see some dramatic pearl clutching. You know, no, just some no real bueno. disappointment. Chamberlain had to be split up into two sessions, and I only got one done when I went to Arizona for a wedding. I saw my mom, and she didn't immediately ask me if I had any more tattoos. She didn't have a dream? God didn't tattle on me this time. I told her, Snitches get stitches, God. I gotta tell you something, <laughs> privately. What is it? I need you to keep a secret from Grandma. Okay. I'm serious. Grandma can't find out about this. Okay. Look, it's Chamberlain. And I showed her the unfinished tattoo, and she went, Oh, do you even like the Dark Crystal that much? I mean, <laughs> yeah, the plot's kind of mid, but it's a cool world. Why were you more upset about my fake Baby Yoda tattoo than my real Dark Crystal tattoo? She didn't care, and neither did my dad. And you know what? I actually showed my grandma too, and she liked it. I can't make these people wow. mad, no matter what I do. One of my cousins an is a tattoo artist, and I was talking to him about tattoos, and my mom said, an oh, angel. you should get your cousin to finish it. And even he said, do not do that. Speaking of tattoo <laughs> advice, <laughs> if you're thinking that. about getting a tattoo, I think you should wait. Obviously, it's your body, your choice, but your with temple. the minimum age of tattoos your being temple. 18, and in some states, 16 with parents' permission, I just what? can't imagine being happy with any yeah, tattoos 21 to get 16 cigarettes? year old James could think of. All I'm saying is that I'm glad I waited and gave myself time to really know if this is what I wanted. And it was. I know you're young and you want to look me. as hardcore Excuse as me, possible, Jet. but you no. can still get a tattoo when you're like 23 and it, it'll look good. Trust me. No matter what tattoo you get, it's a way to express outwardly to the world what you like, what you want to remember, hey, your and pants. who you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm about to get a full back piece of my grandma's face. There's literally no way my family wouldn't love that. Thank you all for watching this YouTube video. And now that you're all done, I'm excited to announce that I have a Funko Pop of me. Oh. If that's something you're interested in, there then you can head on over to there, James. and you two get of them. a signed Funko while supplies last. As always, thank you to my amazing team. And the next time I'll see you, I might have more tattoos. Who knows? Boom! Let me bring you in, Sauce Gang! Like I said, chat, I'm a big fan of tattoos myself. I do want more. I'd love to get a slave. And, uh, yeah. I, I think it... So, I agree. I was... 25 when I got my first tattoo. Uh, and it was my daughter's footprint. And then I got the other. And then I'm a diehard Husker fan, which we lost last night. I already know this! We lost in overtime! Leave it alone! Anyways, uh, I love tattoos, and I definitely want more. So let me know what you guys think. I absolutely love this video, James. Good job. I had a blast reacting this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but please show James from the Odds Ones out some love by subscribing to the channel. Jared, try to get to quarter million subs. So if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button and join the Sauce Gang family. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and remember, it's eat, sleep, and make beats, and as usual, be coming another. That's all I got. Boom, I'm out. Cuckoo, got nothing but love for the Sauce Gang.